In this video, I'd like to illustrate specifically, both visually and numerically, the net profit of the market maker who is short one call option, having written or sold that call option to the counterparty, and then who neutralizes their delta, that is to say, puts on a delta hedge by purchasing a fractional share. So the delta is neutralized, but this market maker is short position gamma, and exposed to large changes in the stock price. I'll illustrate that visually and then with a numerical example. On the left, I have the familiar plot or graph of a European call option with these input assumptions. So that's in green. So on the right, try to represent the perspective of the counterparty. This is going to be the market maker who has the short position in this call option. They have written or sold the call option to their customer. So they have the short position. And at when the stock is at $100, that's right here and right here. Black Scholes Merton says the value is $13.75. And then the percentage delta is 0 0.6115. And that is the Slope of the tangent line here, when the x-axis is at 100, right? Slope of that is delta, and the percentage delta for a call option is between zero and one must be positive. For the for the market maker over here, who has written the option, has a short position in the call option. There, while the percentage delta must be positive, their position delta is negative, and we can see here. The difference between the straight orange dotted line and the experience of the short position that the curvature, which reflect the, that gap reflects the convexity. And I've covered, as I've covered in previous videos about gamma, we can see visually how the gamma, which is we can think of the, as the curvature, the convexity, if you like, the gamma for the long position in the call option is win-win, right? When they when they gain here, the gain accelerates, so to speak, and when they lose here, the loss is mitigated. For the market maker here who has the short position in this option, it's lose-lose, right? They've written the option when the stock price increases, that's moving to the right. This loss, the loss is exacerbated. On the other hand, they are gaining you know, according to delta, the linear relationship, they gain when the stock price decreases. After all, they're short the call. However, the gamma is working against them by actually softening or mitigating the gain. So gamma, position gamma, is win-win over here for the long, and it's lose-lose for the market maker who is short. So then, um, before the numerical example, just to highlight this graphically, right now, now I just have starting three panels here, starting with the, again, the market maker who has the short call option and is therefore, in terms of position Greeks, the market maker who has a short call option is, has negative position delta and negative position gamma. So the market maker is going to is writing the call option, let's say to the counterparty, and they are going to neutralize their delta. So they're going to be uh, hedged with respect to delta, or they're putting on a delta hedge. And to do that, they purchase shares, but they purchase a fractional share equal to the delta of the option, right? So that's the fundamental relationship. Having written or sold one call option, the market maker purchase delta number of shares. And so that's why I have a blue line here to represent the shares that are purchased in order to neutralize or hedge the position delta. Shares have a 45 degree line so that the market maker collectively has is the short position represented by the, uh, by the green and the long position in fractional shares represented by the blue. And in terms of net profit, and you can pull down the spreadsheet if you like. Uh, uh, in the net, net, they, they add, they combine here. Here's my profit at zero, where you can see at the money, that's 100, it's zero. That reflects the market maker's delta hedge and the fact that that delta hedge for short movements in the stock price, this market maker will have uh, zero profit or loss, 
right? That's the point of the delta hedge to be to be protected against short movements in the stock price. But as you can see here, the curvature, the gamma in that short call option informs here this net profit in both directions, pulling it down. So the market maker who has hedged respect to delta is not hedged for gamma and will experience a loss, right? A loss that accelerates the larger the movement in either direction. So we say this market maker hedged with respect to delta is still has negative position gamma and is exposed to volatility. And numerically, I illustrate that on this sheet where I have here an assumption about <clears throat> how much time elapses. So we're just gonna assume it's just a one day period. And here, this line is the setup. And here, a reminder as the market maker, short one call, hedging, del hedging position delta by purchasing fractional delta number of shares. So here is the, at the stock price, we're assume at the money, that call price is $13.28. It's delta is 0.60. If you pull down the spreadsheet, this is all based on actual black holes uh, and Greek and Greek formula calculations. So these are accurate part of the model. Then gamma, gamma my uh, percentage gamma is 0 0.013. And here is my um, what we could call percentage theta. And this is this represents as a raw number uh, negative seven dollars in option value per one year. So it's too large realistically. We need to divide it by 250 days, right, to get the time decay to gay per trading day. But as a percentage number, it's negative, right? Because we think about the whoever is long the call option, uh, time decay is working against them and creating a loss. And so here is the long uh, short, the long stock position that is that creates the delta hedge. So the market maker, having written one call, will then purchase 0.6 shares of the stock to hedge the position delta. And so point, it's not a full share, it's a fractional share, 0 0.6 to 100. More exactly, they will uh, pay $59.87, right? So have... Short the call plus long 0.6 number of shares cost, costing almost $60. Then what I have here is I total to the net profit to this market maker. And it had has actually these five components if we want to be very really specific. Here's just the scenario, right? Starting with a lar small change in the stock price and going to larger change. Well, first of all, the market maker is short, let me use my pointer here, short one call option. So they receive the premium, that's cash received. So that's interest they can earn on the short call position. And for my interest is really simple. It's just that premium received multiplied by the risk-free rate. In my case, I've assumed 3%. And then, that, but it's only daily. So multiplied by one divided by 250. So interest on uh, the, the cash received for the short call is, is profit to the market maker. My deltas are zero, but this is by definition, right? This is a market maker who has put on, has neutralized position delta, has uh, uh, put on the delta hedge. So any gain or loss on the short call is, from a linear perspective, just delta is perfectly offset by the loss or gain on the long share position. So this is by definition of the delta hedge that the delta contributes neither profit or loss to the to the market maker. Then the gamma, well, that's per the uh, Taylor series, right? Where we say that gamma adjustment is one half gamma times the change in stock price squared. So that gamma adjustment is always positive. Percentage gamma is always positive or per option gamma, if you like, position gamma to this market maker who's a short option is going to be therefore always negative, right? That's that curvature working against the market maker. And so you can see that formula. I've implemented that formula here. That's that term in that Taylor series approximation. And then 
theta, the time decay, right? So my formula there is actually pretty straightforward. I'm taking the this theta, which is natively a per annum dollar loss in the option from the perspective of a long position in the call. So uh, that, that percentage theta is generally negative. But again, we're short, so our position theta is actually positive. And so for that market maker's written the option, all of the things being equal, theta is paribus, uh, time decay is actually creating a profit for the market maker. That's pretty cool, I think. Um, and finally, we have uh, interest paid on the long stock position, right? Market maker receives this cash for which they are earning interest, but they went and purchased to Delta Hedge uh, 0.6 shares uh, costing $60. The purchase on the shares is always going to be greater than the uh, money received on the call. So the net interest here is going to be negative to the market maker. They are paying interest to set up this Delta Hedge. But so you can see here, uh, specifically, interest on the long, similarly calculated. How much did it cost me? It's 3% per annum. Uh, and this is over only one day. So the total, these are the components to this market maker who's put on the Delta hedge. And notice, if the stock price just changes by 50 cents, it's profitable. And it's profitable to the market maker really because of time decay. Very interesting, right? Neutralized with respect to delta means that as long as the change in the stock price is small, the time decay creates a profit. Now, the whole point here I wanted to show you numerically what corresponds to that visualization. The, this market maker is has a uh, negative ex exposure to gamma. Uh, their exposure to gamma is negative position gamma such that they're really exposed to large movements in the stock price or large volatility. You can see as I increase the change in the stock price, the loss due to that negative position gamma starts to overwhelm and, and determine that, that this is a total loss to the market maker. So that's the breakdown. You can pull the spreadsheet out if you want to take a closer look. I think it's a pretty cool uh, uh, numeric illustration of that visualization. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and you'll get the next one. Thank you.